going to get into the actual content of the lesson. Today we're talking about independent and dependent variables. And what a variable is, is it's an object within an experiment that you are, that you are measuring. And they can be divided into two types of variables, dependent and independent variables. And what a dependent variable is, it's a possible outcome of the experiment or the effect. So it's the object that you are measuring that is um, taking an effect by another object. So in other words, it is dependent on something else in the experiment. And, that, and you're measuring that effect that is um, taking place. And the independent variable is the variable that can be chosen or manipulated and affects the dependent variable. So it is the object that you can actually change and control and manipulate that has uh, that causes a change within the dependent variable. And it's independent for, from anything. The reason it's called that is because it cannot be changed by the dependent variable. It's independent from itself, uh, from anything else. And so I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you are measuring heart rates and you need, um, you're trying to determine various um, causes for a change in heart rate. So what will be the dependent variable? The dependent variable will be the heart itself. The heart rate, right. So um, why would you say that? Uh, because you are testing the outcome of, of what could be the heart rates right. on, uh, on its own. Perfect, thank you, Louis. And um, give me some examples of independent variables that can cause a change in a heart rate. Uh, exercise. Exercise, perfect. Diet. Diet, good answer. Um, uh, excessive amount of sugar. Excessive amount of sugar, perfect. So yes, all those things um, can be can cause a change within the heart rate, thus it is the independent variable. Um, so we're gonna do some guided practice together. We're gonna do one question with my help and then another question on your own. So the first question is, Lisa is throwing a party. The number of guests she wants to invite determines the number of party favors she buys. What is the independent variable? What is the dependent variable? So one step at a time, what's the independent variable? The independent variable is the number of guests. Okay, why would you say that? Because if they have many guests there are, that's how many party favors they have to buy. Perfect, good answer. Does anyone else agree with that, disagree? Yes, yeah. You agree, all right, good. Well, that's the right answer. Thank you, Emil. Um, second question, I want you all to do it on your own. What would you, you want to see if playing music makes plants grow taller. What is the independent variable? What is the dependent variable? The dependent variable is the is the music playing to the plants. Why would you say that? Because we're trying to see the outcome of what would happen to the plant if it was played uh, music to it. So the outcome is the plant. Is it the dependent variable or the independent? What's the variable you're trying to change? The plant itself. That's you're, you're trying to see how it would react to the music. The variable you're changing. Can anyone else help them out? Yes, the music. The music, you're changing the music. You see, you're seeing if like, what type of genre, what type of speed, will change the plant, will change the growth in the plant. So, um, before we close this lesson, I'm going to have you guys, um, I'm gonna try to help you guys remember a saying that will help you remember this information. So, the flower is a dependent variable the water is the independent variable. Now why I say that is because the flower itself would be the dependent variable. It's the outcome, the growth of the flower. And the water is the independent variable. It's what you're changing. So let's say it together. The flower is the dependent variable. The, the flower is the independent, independent variable. variable. The water is the independent variable. The water is the independent variable. One more time. The flower is the dependent variable. The flower is the dependent variable. The water is the independent variable. The water is the independent variable. The Golden. Thank you so much, guys. And for homework, you have to submit your experiment ideas and you have to state their independent and dependent variables. Do next class.